Okay, let's give it a shot and see how it works. We can finally make our servo rotate this time. Uh, first, we need to connect the servo controller to our computer. All we need to do is to use this USB cable. We need to connect this USB cable to this USB port, just like this. And, and then we can open our PC software. Turn on the switch. You can see the connection indicator turned green, indicating the connection is successful. And uh, because we are using number one servo and number two servo, so we can first choose English and uh, we can choose NUM button. We click the number one box and the number two box and then put them into a line, just like this, so that you can see clearly. And this one corresponds to this servo. And this one, this number two servo icon, corresponds to this servo, as you can see. When I pull the slider, and then the number one servo rotates. And let's look at this one. When I pull the slider, the number two servo rotates just like that. Okay, and uh, I, we can click the reset servo icon. Okay, and now I'm going to make up three action groups that runs at three different speed. Uh, one is the fast speed, uh, one is the middle speed, and the another one is the slow speed, so that you can see how it works. Mm. First, let's make up our uh, first action group, we need to drag the slider to the far left and then click the button add action. You know, this is our action time uh, and 1000 mi uh, 1, milliseconds equals 1 second. So we can change this time to 300 and that is 0 0.3 second and, and click this button update action. So you will say that the time changes as well, okay? And then we can drag the slider to the far left or far right, just like this. Add action and drag the slider to the far left. Add action. Okay, and we make up our number one action group. We can see how it works. Click this button, run online. Yes, it's too fast to just say it again. Okay, and this is the action group we just added. We can save this action group to number one. Yes, to number one action group. And you will see that we can download this number one action group to number zero action group, just download. And the buzzer make a uh, sound of beep to tell you, just to tell you, you know, the, the download is successful. So that uh, before we make up our second group, um, action group, we should delete action from button to the top, just like this, delete action, delete action. Okay. And now, uh, let's make our second action group. Just add action at current um, position. We should change the action time to 800 and click this button, update action button. And you will see the time changes as well, right? And then we can make, we can drag the slider to the far right and add action and then we can drag the slider to the far left add action far right add action and far left add action okay and this is our second action group we can uh, run online yes and say it again Okay, and save action group to two 
Number two action group, saved. And download this action group to number one action group. Click this download button. And you will hear the bopper make sound of beep to indicating you that the, the, the download is successful. Okay, and then we need to de delete action from button to the top, just like this. Okay, and the next one we can uh, have it run at the, the slowest speed. Add action, add current position. Change the action line to 1600 and update action. Then the time is 1600 as well. And we should, and we can drag the this one to the far right. Add action, and this one to the far right. Add action, and far left. Add action, far left. Add action. Okay, and now we can see how it goes, how it works. It is a little bit slow actually. Very slow. Once again. Okay, we can save this action group to number three action group. And we can download this action to group to number two action group and click the download button just like this. Yeah, the download finish. Okay, and this is the end of today's program. Please join us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube pages. See you there.